Yes, good evening. First tonight, more than 500 people here in the East Midlands have been referred to the government's anti-terror programme Prevent in the last year. New figures show that almost a third of them were children under 15. Well, in most cases, the police decided that they weren't a terrorist threat. But it's emerged that several extremists did agree to join a de-radicalisation programme. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. Tackling the threat from terrorism is the challenge of our times and the PREVENT programme is all about the battle for hearts and minds. It's designed to spot people who might be radicalised before they're involved in violent crimes. Mudassir Hussain was reported by his own family in Derby. He was arrested as he travelled out to Syria to fight. Now he's in jail for a terrorist offence. And in Leicester, this soldier told me how he was referred to prevent by his school after he was drawn into extreme far-right violence. I was just quite a young, easily manipulated boy, um, like most 14 or 15-year-old boys are, and I just looked up to any sort of male role model that was there. Groups I was hanging out with um, at, at football games and things like that, and then the main stuff come from online and watching videos on social media and things like that. But Joe's not the only one. The East Midlands saw 555 prevent referrals in the year to March. 172 of those were children under 15, and almost half of all referrals came from schools and colleges. The main concern was Islamist extremism. That prompted 342 prevent referrals. But 99 of the others were concerns about far-right extremist violence. The police eventually decided most cases weren't a serious threat. We're looking for, um, are they immersed in and connected to an extremist ideology? Uh, we're looking for any intent that they might hold to, to cause harm and commit harm and to hurt people, uh, and also uh, what their capability to cause harm is. I know it sounds like a cliche. But so what happened to Joe? Well, now this film about his story is being used to tackle extremism in Leicester. His extremist behaviour was challenged by a mentor from Prevent. Could have got pretty violent, I think, from the people I was hanging out with. And when people were stepping in at my life in the time, I didn't really see a danger because I didn't see what I was getting drawn into. My mentor uh, spoke to me in a way where he wanted to understand why I was thinking these sort of things and understand what sort of person I was uh, at that certain time. And it sort of felt like someone was listening rather than telling. For the police, tackling violent extremism means keeping ahead of the game. And today's figures from Prevent show just how many people in the East Midlands are raising concerns. So Jeremy is here with us now. So a lot of people then being flagged up by Prevent. Once that's done, what happens to them next? Well, usually that's the end of it. The police decide they don't need to do anything else about it. There's no further action needed and they don't get any criminal record. But there were concerns that the police had last year about 50 cases here in the East Midlands. Now, those cases get assessed to see if any intervention is needed. 23 of those cases resulted in the kind of mentoring that Joe talked about there. And interestingly, they split fairly evenly between Islamist and far-right extremism. We've also heard today that nationally some of the more extreme cases simply refuse to take part in that. And has there been any reaction to, to the picture that's emerged from these figures? Yeah, as you know, the Prevent programme's often been accused of targeting Muslim communities unfairly. And today the Labour MP, Naz Shah, said these figures support that really because she says when you look at them Islamist referrals are far less likely to result in further action by the police. A different response though from Simon Cole, the Chief Constable of Leicestershire, he says look these figures show it's working, they show the police are responding proportionately and he says uh, he's making a particular appeal to families, to friends and community leaders, if you are worried about radicalisation please come forward sooner. All right, Jeremy Ball, thank you.